Hey guys, this is Graham Wales from Outbound Off-Road in Phoenix, Arizona, and I want to make a short video today to show you, to introduce you rather, to the newest member of our rental fleet. We have a uh, Boreas XT, uh, it's a rugged off-road camper trailer, and I want to go over, I've got it set up here, I want to go over some of the, uh, the general features and uh, specs and just show you why this is a really great trailer for, uh, for anyone to take out. So let's start with the uh, interior. The mattress that it's in here, it's an actual queen size mattress. Uh, it's not an RV queen, it's an actual queen size mattress. It's a four inch uh, memory foam mattress under there. So there's plenty of space for everybody. Uh, on the interior here, uh, the first thing you'll notice is the cabinetry. Uh, there is a, there's obviously a lot of space inside that cabinet to store uh, your clothes, your gear, uh, and whatnot. Uh, inside that little metal box right there behind those vents is the cabin heater. Uh, so it's a propane heater, so it'll keep you nice and toasty on those uh, on those cool, cool nights. And uh, this unit actually also has uh, air conditioning, so there's a couple of vents right there. I'll show you the air con unit when we get outside. Uh, the lights, they're all on a dimmer, uh, so you can turn them down, turn them up. Let's do a quick demo of that. So that's about as low as it goes, and then it'll go right back up again. Um, the control panel down here, the control panel down here, you've got, uh, that's the, that's the dimmer for the lights. You've got a couple of, uh, 12 volts outlets here. There's a, a cigarette lighter and a, a pair of USBs. Uh, and then the control panel for the, for the heater, uh, over there, those two knobs. Uh, you got a couple of storage nets here and then on the other side too, to store your, uh, your maps, your keys, phones, whatnot. Um, and then, oh, there's also, uh, I should mention the uh, vent fan. It's right up there on the roof. It runs off the 12 volt system and uh, it has two operations. It can uh, either draw air out of the trailer or blow air in. Uh, and it's actually really nice when you've got these, these doors closed. Uh, if you basically raise the, the glass up and have the screen open on both sides, especially, and you turn that fan on, it pulls the air right across your body and it feels, it feels great. Uh, so this, this is the uh, air con unit right here. Uh, this actually stores inside of this box, and uh, this is this is the only item on the trailer that requires either a generator or shore power, a 2,000 watt generator or shore power to run. Everything else runs off the 12 volt system, but this one does require a uh, generator or shore power. Uh, but it basically it stores down in that box, and then the hoses come off, obviously, and uh, it tucks away quite nicely, and it really does cool it down in there pretty significantly. Uh, up top I'll show you the, there's a 100 watt solar panel that's already hardwired into the trailer uh, so that thing is always there always charging uh, and it's going to keep your batteries topped off. Inside of here uh, there are two uh, 100 amp hour batteries uh, linked together and then there's also a 700 watt inverter that's right on the inside. Uh, this particular box. So if you wanted to run anything with uh, 110 volt power, uh, you can do it right off that, all right, right off that inverter. So this trailer comes standard with this uh, awning. It's an ARB touring awning uh, that comes out and sets up in this in this footprint. And then uh, the rental unit is also going to come with this uh, screened-in room. Now these um, these panels, obviously, they can. Uh, detach from up here and roll down and you can so you can zip the whole thing up on all sides and make it a truly uh, closed off uh, tent space uh, but even if you wanted to uh, just open it up and have like a screened in porch during the day it's a fantastic footprint to have and it's all uh, six sides it's all stitched together with the floor and uh, and a roof and everything so it's all closed in there so if you wanted to, you can open the doors like this, and the, or open the screens rather, uh, like this in the back. You could do that in the front as well. Uh, and you can open it all the way up. Uh, you can close it to make it screened, or you can zip it all up to make it a tent. Uh, so this is, this is a really good option too if there's more than two of you, more than one or two of you, and you want to have some, uh, some guests or some kids um, with you on your trip. You can bring a blow-up mattress, bring a cot or something, and set it up in there, and then uh, that's, where they can, that's where they can sleep at night. Um, let's go into the kitchen now. So the kitchen's got a two burner propane stove. Uh, it's got a sink right there. And then it's got the uh, Dometic uh, fridge right here. Fridge freezer, actually. It's a single zone, uh, but you can adjust it to make it a fridge or a freezer either way. Right now, I think it's uh, yep, set at 30 degrees. Uh, and then the cabinets back there, the pantries. 
Uh, you can usually, usually I think most people do like one side of a pantry, one side as uh, storing all your pots and pans and uh, cleaning supplies and everything like that. Uh, the rentals that you would get from us will include a set of pots and pans, a set of cleaning supplies, a set of uh, cutlery and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to have it really well outfitted for you when you come to pick it up. So you can just pick it up, put your food in, put your clothes in and go and get out there. You won't have to spend much time uh, making sure you've got everything uh, together and ready to go before you hit out on the trails. And then of course there's also a uh, propane shower on this side and uh, we will include a pop-up tent uh, and a tarp that you can put down on the ground and, and pop the tent up. It's, it's like a four foot by four foot kind of uh, changing room. It's just like a, like a stall basically and uh, you can use that to set that up right there and then uh, shower off uh, at the end of the day. So there's also a storage rack up here if you want to bring bikes or you want to bring kayaks or, or whatever else uh, you want to bring out on the trail. Uh, there's plenty of space up there to do it. Uh, so yeah, that's just a, basically a quick run through of the trailer. Uh, the, it does, by the way, come with the articulating uh, hitch at the front. So all your tow vehicle will require is a two inch receiver. And uh, we will provide this unit right here. It's called a lock and roll hitch. So this part will go into your truck. Uh, it detaches right there. Uh, but the way that it's designed is to rotate this way, this way, and back and forth. So it, it turns uh, in three different directions. So all your tow vehicle needs is a two inch receiver, a seven pin trailer connector, which is that cable right there, uh, and the tow rating. This trailer weighs about 1,950 pounds dry. Uh, so as long as your uh, tow vehicle can tow that much weight, uh, you should be good to go. So this is perfectly suitable for Jeeps. If anybody's got a Jeep out there and you want to hit the trails in a rugged off-road trailer, you can take this one out. So go see our website and we have a full availability calendar there and all the prices and rules and everything like that. So you can, you can book straight through our website at outboundoffroadusa.com.